Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the White Sox versus Rays Major League Baseball matchup on Saturday, April 27, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. Our best bets use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls, bet you know $500,000 plus per game. These are VIP packages. They're not available on the website. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, text the number. But let's get to it. White Sox taking on the Rays. Of course, the White Sox, it's well documented that this is not their year. This is a rebuilding year. It's going to be a process. And boy, the process has been painful for White Sox fans, me included. Um, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, we know we're not going to win this year. So it doesn't really hurt that bad. But you do, of course, want to see some positive momentum. And I think we have seen some in some areas and I know people will be watching and say what are you talking about the White Sox stink and yeah they do stink but the thing is they do have a few good young arms coming in here like today's starter Jonathan Cannon who hasn't been bad last time out he got hit pretty hard his first outing against the Royals he pitched really well so that 7.27 ERA that's eh, only eight and two-thirds innings allowed 12 hits seven runs eight strikeouts over that time I think the jury's still out. In the first outing, you only out three hits and a run. It was last time we allowed nine hits and six runs. So, which cannon will we see? But neither neither side of him has he given up a home run all season long. On the other side, Aaron Savali comes over, you know, from Cleveland to the Rays. Had pitched pretty well up until his last start where he got hit very hard by the Yankees in four and a third, allowing eight hits and five runs. All those earned. No home runs at this first game without a home run allowed this season, but it was also the most runs he allowed. So he comes in ERA just south of four, allowing 25 hits through 27 and two thirds, uh, 12 earned, nine walks and 31 strikeouts and five home runs allowed so far this season. You know, I think, you know, when we look at these two teams, the Rays are a contender to be a playoff team once again. The White Sox will probably finish close to the worst record in all of baseball, if not with the worst record. And they're just 11-42 and 42 in their last 53 games, and, uh, you know, that just doesn't bode well for them. And, you know, even, even being optimistic, we know the White Sox just simply don't have it this year. But Savali, you know, in his last three starts, it certainly deteriorated that 5.74 ERA, you know, gives the White Sox at least a puncher's chance, but the White Sox bullpen has really let them down. And despite the bullpen ERA just being 4.28, it just seems that all of those runs have come at the worst possible time. And, you know, even though the White Sox have three wins, I think they could have maybe had seven, eight, maybe even nine if the bullpen could have held on just the other day against the Twins. They had a lead in the ninth inning that they let get away and, you know, couldn't hold on for it. And that's really been the story of a lot of the games this season. Um, you know, they've been hitting under 200 versus righties and lefties, so that doesn't get it done either. Can't score runs. You can't have a bullpen that can't hold the lead. Well, it's going to be a long season. Yeah, it's going to be a long season on the south side. Tonight's game isn't going to help much more. I like the Rays in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.